It is one of the hottest topics being talked about in Metro Detroit. The hundreds of people that were ticketed at this year's Arts, Beats and Eats Festival. They're not happy at all. The city of Royal Oak will make plenty of money off those tickets, but are those tickets justified? Seven investigator Jonathan Carlson live in Royal Oak with more on what he found out about that. Jonathan? Hey, good evening, guys. We are live here in downtown, beautiful downtown Royal Oak. The city of Royal Oak did have extra patrols out ticketing people this weekend, but they say it was simply to protect its residents from being overrun with illegal parking. And as for those, some would say, hefty parking fees, they compare it to attending a Tigers game and have no shame in charging 15 bucks. Nearly 400,000 attended Arts, Beats and Eats in downtown Royal Oak, but nearly 1,600 got $50 parking tickets. You had two choices, either pay 15 bucks to park in a lot or face the consequences. I mean, I would have loved to have seen the parking be a little bit less. Hundreds of you shared comments on our social media pages questioning the city's motives and tact. We heard the same downtown today. Wouldn't come. I didn't come on Friday because of the fact that there's nowhere to park around here. I mean, the, the Arts, Beats and Eats itself is expensive, so when you come here, you're going to be spending a lot of money to eat everything you have to pay for already, and the parking should just be included. I'm sure the idea is to expose people to the town and let them see, you know what I mean, what, what they have in town and all that, so obviously it's a great PR thing, so you don't want to take away from that. I could see how it could definitely rub people the wrong way. But talk to the mayor of Royal Oak, and you won't find much pity. They, I think it's fair. I mean, you don't put these events on for free. He says all revenue from parking and those tickets, which by the way, at 50 bucks a pop adds up to close to 80 grand, all goes to the city parks, which leads to the question. For the people that are out of town that don't care about money going to the city's parks mm -hmm. that say you want me to come to your festival, but you're going to charge me $15 to park or you're going to give me a parking ticket and then I got to pay admission. You don't think it's excessive at all? Not at all. Not at all. I think, I think it's fair. We don't get any money from the event itself. The majority of those who got tickets, he says, were parked illegally in neighborhoods clearly marked as residential parking only. And people are ignoring those signs, and they're going to take a chance that, that you know, they're going to get a ticket. And yeah, we're going to bring our traffic enforcement officers in to enforce that space because the residents expect us to. The event's organizer stands by the city. It's pretty standard for an event of the size of Fort Arts Beats and Eats to you know, to have uh, parking fees. Now, with regard to the ticketing procedures, that's also a fair policy. Royal Oak has a $300,000 plus bill to uh, for city services during the weekend. And organizers in the city also stress that these parking rules and fees have been in effect for the last couple of years, so they should come as no surprise to attendees. We're live for you tonight in Royal Oak. I'm Jonathan Carlson, 7 Action News. No surprise, but people still don't like it. They're not happy with it. <laughs> right. Thanks, Jonathan. Wesley.